I did it. That's it's been you done. Thing? Yeah, no, I, I did the thing. Yeah. Hey. Hey, stream. I see the thing. Yeah. Uh, what's up? We're back. Sorry, we weren't here last week, as previously mentioned the week before. Um, I had to host it, so couldn't really stream from the other place. So that meant no D and D, which sucks. But I'm gonna make it up for you. Uh, we were supposed to play yesterday, but the uh, opportunity to make a bunch of money instead of play D&D came up, and, uh, well, you know how I am with money, so I decided to take that. Speaking of which, Twitch Primes, if you got it. Anyway, um, so yeah, last night we didn't play either, but Tuesday's back, and they're going to be a game ahead. It's going to be fun. Uh, anyway, not really that important. Starting this Thursday, actually, so two days from today, uh, Thursday nights, we will, I think it's Thursdays, it might be Wednesdays. I should probably check with the group. I'm pretty sure it's Thursdays. But anyway, we're going to be playing uh, Odyssey of the Dragon Lords. So that's pretty fucking cool. Uh, if you're familiar with the Rain games, I'm playing in it. I'm not DMing. And I'm playing with Brian, who's Al in this game. Uh, let's see. Deck from the Monday game. And... I always forget his fucking name. Jackerson. Yeah, I knew Jackerson. Jackerson is DMing it. Um, and the fucking goblin. God damn. Lauren from the Monday game. The goblin Tails. paladin that... Yes, thank you. Yeah, The guy Tails. that should always say, hey but there, what's his yogurt. character's name? Yogurt. Yogurt. Thank you. I don't know why, but I always <laughs> blank on his name. Every Monday night, I'll be like, okay, cool. Um, go through my notes. What the fuck is his name again? Yogurt. What do you want to do? Anyway, so it's not because he's forgettable or anything. Like he's like the comedic genius in the Monday game. Um, it's like tragically hilarious. Anyway, not important. But anyway, that's the that's the players uh, for Odyssey that starts on Thursday. Sorry, we're a little bit late today. Um, there was a there was a mishap with a doggy, so we had to wait. Unfortunately, um, that's pretty much all I got. So, uh, Brian, what happened last week? Because oh. I know you take notes. Um, I do. Did you did you get me the answer that I asked for? Did you ask a question? I did. Oh, that. Right. I was going to check my notes. I will start off slowly while you get me that information. Um, so Strawberry kicked off the party by picking up the deck after it was dropped by someone disappearing. And promptly pulling five cards out. The first one did absolutely nothing. The second one, uh, a dagger appeared in his hand. <laughs> nice timing. That was slick. Um, the third one, uh, let's see, wait. He, he suddenly knew that he had a keep someplace. Uh, then a little rabbit appeared next to him. By the name of Sir Hoppington. Sir Hoppington's kind of cool. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He passed his oh. test, to be fair. He did. I was I was going to get to that. But, spoilers. Jeez. I didn't say anything. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then he pulled another card and got kind of a concerned look on his face as if somebody suddenly swore to seek him out and kill him or something. I don't know. Anyway, um, I decided to plant a bean and then water it and a tree it sprouts. And then it's kind of animated some other trees and then they all started swaying. It was good times. Um, and, uh... You guys could have caught him the same way. <laughs> Zanuck and Astro were doing it, but Valeria was like <laughs> butting against them the wrong way. And I'm just like, no! <laughs> <laughs> kind of like, uh... Oh, what? Night at the Roxbury. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, so then I decided to pull some cards, too, because I don't want to feel left out. Um, let's see, I uh, figured out that I'm get the next thing I kill, I get to experience enough to get, get a level. And then my favorite little undead creature shows up and attacks me again. I'm getting tired of that guy, by the way. I'm just... Throwing that out there. The next one, Meteor Falls. Just kills you. 
Um, <laughs> uh, then I pulled a card that uh, gave me the ability to cast Wish twice. I'm excited to see what happens with that. We'll see. I've, I've got some plans. Maybe. We'll see. Um, and then I pulled the Sun card and got a pouch full of pixie dust. I'm excited to see what I do with that, too. Anyway, um, so uh, Strawberry has Sir Hoppington draw a card. He also gets the undead creature that attacks him instantly, but he dispatches it in one hit. So apparently it's not that big of a deal for him either. Maybe you should buff that guy. Anywho, um, and then Sir Hoppington makes us some vegetable water soup. Uh, then we head out, start going the wrong way, because Valeria has decided that we should go east instead of west. And we gently kind of correct her and then start progressing west. Um, ran into a traveling beholder trades creature. Uh, made a few exchanges with him. And then continued on. Um, set up camp. Strawberry made us a nice little magic bubble. Uh, in the night, there were flapping wings. I went out to try to calm the horses and came face to face with a very large red dragon. Which was exciting, to say the least. Um, kind of chit-chatted with it a little bit. Uh, offered it food, but it decided that it wanted the horse instead. So I, I promptly stepped out of the way. That's still food. To, yeah. You offered. Um, well, yeah. Um, and I continued to talk to him a little bit more while the rest of the party just kind of hid in the bubble. I could hear them whispering in there. It was really, really made me feel good. Thanks, guys. Um, and uh, then we made our way the rest of the way to the Norma camp and um, kind of met with them. Um, <laughs> oh, Sir Hoppington gave Valeria a very rousing speech to perform. That was quite entertaining. Kudos on that one. Uh, talked to the guards, met Ariset. He took us the rest of the way in. We found out that the mages like to rebuild the walls because they keep blowing them up. And then we met Dak, got some food and drink, and then we got down to business. And that's where we are right now. Yeah. Well, we were... A about to get down to business. Yeah, you you were about to get down to business. Uh, so yeah. that's that's where we pick up as you guys kind of you know situate yourselves in in the room, uh, either taking seats in front of him at the desk. Uh, he's still seated, and uh, you guys kind of space out around the room. Um, he kind of looks around the room, and you know, noticing that you're all kind of sitting there intently. Um, it looks like he's about to speak uh, before a door in the room opens up and you see a young appearing elf step into the room and looks over the group and then speaks to Dak and says, uh, a Mr. Strawberry is required, please. I'm told it wouldn't take long, but there's an old man asking about him. Eh, okay. Okay. Uh, Strawberry kind of gets up and excuses himself and says, I'll be right back. Kind of steps out and you see Sir Hoppington like grab his sword and his hilt and follow after him like a loyal knight that he is. <clears throat> and they exit uh, the room. Did the old man have a name? Uh, the elf kind of stops and looks back and goes, he did not give one. Hmm. Got a description? Old. Human hmm. man. Hmm. So they you're all, that all look alike. Like, <laughs> kind of, yes. I see. <laughs> That's fair. Not as many distinctions as there are in elven faces. Mm -hmm. You think I've you know that like guy? Half of that. Uh, maybe. I mean, it, it, it's possible that it's the wizard that uh, is currently. Talking to his brother? Could be. Um, so the three of them leave the room, and uh, Dak just kind of looks confused at the whole situation and just goes, Right, so, um, I was informed due to um, a sister, Alice, that uh, a parlay was required, so I'm here. 
You're here? What can I do for you? I look at, uh... I look at Brian's character. <laughs> Al. <laughs> Al. I look at Al. <laughs> uh, well, uh, I'm kind of just sprawl out into the, the chair I'm in. Just kind of get a completely relaxed look on my face and in, in my body and kind of look him straight in the eye and be like, Well, Dak, we have a mission to kill you. <laughs> I look at him. Wow, I did not think uh, we were going to be that blunt. <laughs> I figured it would just be easier to get to the point. Right. Uh, seriously, though. Uh, well, seriously, um, you uh, have a group of mercenaries that went out and took a job and got paid for that job and then decided to renege on that job and kill the person that gave them the mission. And he came back, and he's pissed. And he wants retaliation. Right. <sighs> I don't suppose it's much too much to ask that uh, a formal agreement wasn't made? Unfortunately, before we realized exactly what was being asked of us, a formal agreement was made. Ah. Well, that complicates things. Well, <clears throat> puts me in quite a tricky predicament, wouldn't you say? Um, uh, us too. Yeah, you've got a job to do, otherwise your company word kind of goes into the shitter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Much like how mine apparently is. Mm -hmm. Which... I mean, that will be straightened out once the group in question is back in town. Um, that will be handled. But, uh... Isn't there, like, a way that we can cheat this? Well, I, mean, I, I, I know, I I know we kind of talked about this, but... Yeah, I've, I've got uh, a potential alternative for you. Okay. As far as I know, uh, we're the only ones that know about this particular transgression of contracts. Um, I'm not planning on telling anybody. Any of you guys planning on telling anybody? Mm -mm. So we can just kind of sweep that part under the rug. Um, as far as wait, our part. There's one kind of important thing in there, though. Didn't you say my team took a job and then killed that person? Mm -hmm. And that person gave you the job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he came back. So he couldn't stay away, apparently. Hypothetically, that person could still spread the word that, you know, Norma's word is not worth anything. And Potentially theoretically, Dressy as well. If you were to theoretically, it. potentially, right. you know, he has a really good point, Al. This guy's smart. Mm. Good negotiator. I was just well, saying. Do we want to said... Do we want to ask about the other plan? Well, I was I was curious to see where he was going before I broached that. Right. But... Well, so here's my thought. Uh, without hearing the next plan. Uh, let me just address this point by point. So, for this part, um, seems to me you've got a job to do. I don't particularly want to die, so I'm going to defend myself and uh, to the fullest of my abilities. And with everything at my disposal. So, I don't see how you're going to walk out of here alive if it comes to that. Um... No, you might get and I'm lucky. I'm hoping not to come to that. Right, right. But if you don't do your job, what happens to you? A little bit of money lost? Um, That's no big deal. Well, I look at him. Nothing happens to me. I'm not part of this shit. So yeah, he's lucky. I pay you the difference, and 
We're good. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, deal it came with a um, binding spell that's a little aggressive. Hmm. Hold on a sec. Kind of like gets up and walks over to that secret hallway you guys came in, puts pushes the bookcase a little bit. Just hey, hey. They're usually just around the corner. After a moment, you hear like footsteps approaching, and uh, you see a little runner boy kind of step up, and he goes, uh, "Could you go get Erickson, please?" Kid's like, "Okay, yeah, right away." He turns and runs off, and he goes back to his desk and sits down. <sighs> Aggressive binding, you said. Mm-hmm. Would you, if if you're thinking about trying to potentially dispel it, uh, I have word from a pretty powerful wizard. Uh, have you heard of Zaxar the um, uh, Valeria? Can you give his full name? Mm, no. <laughs> you don't have that handy at all times. He is magnificent, though. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I can tell you that much. Have you have you heard of Zaxar, the wizard, really old there? Um, Been around for a thousand years or so. I I mean the name I, I feel like I've heard it somewhere. I don't I don't know if I've met him. Got a really cool house, makes all yeah. his own shit. Uh, I go into my bag and I pull out a set of um carpenter's tools. I hold up the bottom. Even this... has his insignia on it. Have you ever oh, seen anything like yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen those all over the place. A lot of our magic weapons have that on it. Oh, yeah. Actually, a lot of our mundane weapons have that on it, too. Oh, well, he I guess he's made out. all of them. That's interesting. He's something of a craftsman, I guess. Yeah! Indeed. But he anyway, likes to uh, brand his things, apparently. He does. Yeah. Anyway, uh, he said that um, trying to dispel it would probably just trigger it. Right. Well, oh, what's it do? It hurts. Would, would triggering it be the worst thing? I wouldn't particularly like to feel that again. Mm -mm. Hmm. Could is it like a one-time trigger thing, or does it just continually happen? Uh, I've been led to believe it continuously happens. Ah. Hmm. That's interesting. Probably around this time, you see a uh, extremely old man step in. Uh, long, white beard that goes like past his navel kind of steps in and is wearing some robes and carrying a very heavy leather-bound book. Uh, he's, looks like he's still got a sleeping cap on, and uh, he kind of steps in and goes, um, You requested uh, my presence. And Dak just kind of looks up and goes, Right, yes, um, we know anything about a, um, magical binding spell that can, uh, I, I guess, keep somebody bound to, uh, a condition? To a task. A task? And the kind of old man just goes, um, yes, uh, I do believe there is uh, a few magical spells like that. And he pulls open his book and starts flipping through pages. Uh, eventually comes to one and goes, Um, I have one here that uh, binds to one or more persons, and um, upon making a binding agreement uh, c can be paired with another spell that um, it... Um, well, it, it could trigger one time or multiple times uh, if a condition is not met by a certain um, period of time. And Dak just kind of goes, Right. Um, what do we know about bypassing the spell? Is there any way to stop it? Our friends here are apparently on a dire mission they do not wish to complete, but if they don't complete it, uh, well, I, they appear to be under some such spell. And the old man just goes, um, right, um, well, if the effects of the spell are not so, um, troublesome, you could just, um, ignore it. 
I don't think that would work. Right. Um, we could try dispelling it. I've heard that can just make it trigger. Uh, it certainly would. Um, at least one time. Probably. Mm. Generally, these sorts of, um, binding contracts... <sighs> Zaxar the Magnificent himself created this spell, um, with... As the liner notes say in, in this spell, uh, he got the idea from watching devils at work making their contracts with um, unwitting peoples of the lower planes. Um, and he wanted to find a way to make an infernal contract, but not be <clears throat> um, infernal or bound to one such as this. So... Uh, it's basically the same as that. Um, likely dispelling it um, m might not work. Um, if the creator of the spell himself said it wouldn't, I would probably trust that. I guess the only thing you can do is um, fulfill the condition. Dak I look kinda... over to Al. Well, you guys are fucked. Dak just looks over and goes, Ugh. I guess that brings us to my other proposal. Right. Um, that'll, that'll be all for now, Erickson. Please help yourself to some wine and refreshments in the other room. If you are required, I will, will yell for you. Yes, uh, yes sir. Kind of steps out of the room and kind of shambles away. Think, um... The Grand Maester from Game of Thrones, the one that's like with the Lannisters and stuff, and how he like shuffles around all the time. Uh, Pycelle. Kind of like that's how his like whole movement is. Um, Dax says, Right. Um, well, um, on to option number two. What have, you, what's, what have you come up with? Um, well. I, I was going to suggest that um, we help you, uh, help us, in as painless and potentially even pleasant of a way as possible, and then I would bring you back at my expense, thus fulfilling the contract of killing you without the pesky side effects of being dead. Okay, uh, just to make sure that I heard that right. Um, Jay, I, I reading Rambo him really quick. Resurrection! <laughs> 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 um, just to make sure that I'm picking up all of that quick. Alright. Um, you're, you're basically saying you wish for me to submit myself to you. You kill me. And I trust that you bring me back to life. Well, I mean, if you have someone else that knows how to do it, they could get involved. And also give you the comfort of knowing that we're not, you know, trying to intentionally screw you. But I mean, whatever you want to do, it doesn't necessarily need to be that big of a deal, I don't think. I assume you have people that can do resurrections yourself, as well as potentially verify that I'm telling you the truth. Perhaps. Okay. Let's say I didn't absolutely hate that idea and reject it completely out of hand. Um, why should I go along with this for a group of, uh, well, competition? For lack of a better word. Well, as previously stated, we aren't going to spread a word about the Norma not fulfilling contracts. Obviously, I can't guarantee that he won't, but he seems like he doesn't get involved in affairs very often. I could be misreading him. I'm not sure. Okay. There's still no protection for the Norma 
word. That ship has sailed. If this person, in fact, does decide to spread it throughout the land that Norma's not to be held to their word, um, outside of your own uh, admissions, uh, you said you would not, but let's say they do. I still have to look out for mine, and that will be dealt with on my end. But let's say we do everything as you've laid it out. Um, we would be seen as in cahoots with you, would we not? If I don't show up dead, if I continue living, what what well, makes you think this creature wouldn't think that uh, we are in cahoots and thus both? mercenary companies' reputations be tarnished? Well, I don't think the idea is you have to hide afterwards. I'm pretty sure we just technically kill you, and then the binding spell ends, and then you get resurrected, and it's like nothing ever happened. Technically, no one really needs to know. Unless you want them to know, in which case, eh. Interesting. Do I want them to know? Having a reputation. I mean, hey, it could be who's... cool publicity. You could say, like, hey, we're such a strong mercenary company, we pre bring people back to life. That's kind of good, right? Having Are a mercenary you company. Death. Uh, that's... Death defying mercenary company? That's, that's, that's death pretty fucking defying. Cool. That's, I but was I mean, thinking only that. if you want to. I was, I was thinking that if um, somebody heard that the normal mercenary company was led by somebody who death itself could not claim, that could be a good Cheated publicity. death. Well, uh, or just was killed and brought back. I mean, that sounds fantastical on its own. Mm -hmm. The people that so don't know anything about magic. So now we're for you guys. That seems right. like a fair trade. I mean, it doesn't sound like a bad trade. It sounds like something that would even out the uh, negative impact to my uh, company's reputation. Yeah. Right. What about yours? I shrug. Well, technically, I'm not a part of the company. I'm just kind of here to learn to adventure and stuff. So, I'd ask that guy. <laughs> we fulfilled he looks our contract. Right <clears throat> we did exactly what was requested of us. Hmm. This uh, vengeful creature, you don't think would uh, see that as weaseling out of the deal? You don't think? They might be angry. I think that we will have done exactly what he asked. And if he wishes to try to enforce deals in the future, maybe he should ask nicely instead of forcing somebody. To be fair, it's not this guy. It's not like this guy's a genie. He just told us to kill you. Afterwards, if we resurrect him and he gets mad at us, we fulfilled his contract. So it's not like that. I point to Al. It's not like your guys' reputation is going to be tarnished for not fulfilling the contract. Well, unless no, I'm would. not dead and he starts spreading word that Dressy doesn't complete their contracts. Because I'm not no. dead. Yeah, but if you start advertising that you came back from the dead, then everyone will know that we they definitely, or he definitely killed you. I'm also not part of this mercenary group. I mean, hell, if you really want us to, we'll go around and start spreading word that we killed you and suddenly you come back and now you guys are even cooler. And, you know, we just keep it under the table that, you know, it was actually a mutual thing. We could quite literally be advertising for the other company? Do you guys want to do that? I mean, um, it's still kind of a win-win. I don't know how Drezzy does it, but generally there is an air of professionalism with mercenaries, and you don't go about espousing all of your jobs you've completed. But oh, uh, gotcha. I definitely don't have a list that I flash around. Hmm. So uh, if it became an issue, we could always claim that uh, the Dressy Company fulfills their contracts, but we also have a bit of mercy about us. <laughs> you guys won't be in business for very long, then. Not that it would give mercy to all the things. Just pick and choose. That sounds subjective. Indeed. That's dangerous. Let's not advertise that part. Yeah, let's maybe not. Uh, well, I, I don't care. If you do or not, the quicker you guys disappear, the quicker Norma gets more of the uh, southern jobs. So I'm okay with it either way. I'm just, you know, don't want this to come back on me. All right. Well, I think I can be okay with being killed and brought back. 
I, being completely honest with you, don't really much care if it blows back on you. But I do want to make sure that it doesn't blow back on Norma. So, if this person that put you up to it uh, should start talking crap, as the uh, normies say in Lilton, then uh, somebody might uh, visit somebody else with a sword. And... Um, Well, I'm not a man of large words, so I'll just put it bluntly. Uh, somebody will end up dead for it, so. If that sounds just agreeable Just a reminder, to you, I'm not a part of the, the company. <laughs> no, no, you're not a part of the company. You're just... Oh, a, okay. It's just simply a part of this deal. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm not sure that particular uh, thing would work in rain, but <laughs> I don't know. Do you have zippers in rain? Sure. Who doesn't love a good zipper? No, it's probably all drawstrings and shit. Probably. I don't know. <laughs> well... Tell you what, we'll do this outside in the grand view of my entire company, and if you are not true to your word, we will slaughter all of you. But it'll happen slowly. Um, I perhaps should have chosen a different word than slaughter. I just got a little excited. We will kill you very, very slowly over a long period of time and make it as painful as possible. Oh, sir. Look at Al. So you're sure this is going to work, right? That <laughs> <clears throat> <It> worked. <laughs> right. Right. Well, uh. This is exciting. Erickson <laughs> just kind of <laughs> leans back forward and kind of steeples his fingers in front of himself and goes curiosity who um who gave you this contract and how much are they paying you what's my life worth um I can write it down for you but I can't say it out loud you you can't tell me out loud what my life was. Okay, yeah, write it down. He like well, pulls a piece of parchment out and puts a quill down in an ink pot. That's that's the first part of your your question. The second part is a uh, five thousand gold and a magic sword. Wow, wow, things have gone that far, hey? I'm worth a sword and some gold, some pocket change. To be fair, to be fair, we didn't know who the target was. Until after we agreed. Why me? <laughs> so or very we would have, smart. <laughs> or we would have asked for significantly more. I'm sure you're worth far more than 5,000 gold. Like how much? What if it was a luck blade? Ah, who am I kidding? I don't know. I mean, I would assume at least a million. All the monies. Nice save. <laughs> um, right. <laughs> Around this time, the kind of old man leans in. Uh, yes, sir. It's like, uh, gather up everybody and um, line the walls. We are going to have a show. This isn't terrifying at all. Erickson just. I, like, I will pick up the the quill though and start writing on the piece of paper. Okay. Erickson just goes, uh, yes, sir. <laughs> like steps up and shuffles outside, and you can hear him the shuffling down the hallway, and the closing of doors. Uh, probably about 10 seconds goes by before you hear a booming voice echoing all around you and it just says um, uh, uh, Master Dak has requested everybody to uh, line the walls and step outside. We are being shown a, a show uh, apparently. 
Um, best behaviors, everyone, even the children. Right. Oh no, the children are coming. <laughs> yeah, dude, mercenaries camps double as uh, orphanages, by the way. <laughs> this is totally fine. <laughs> it, it was mentioned in session zero, guys. I don't know what oh, to yeah, tell I know. you. <laughs> I don't. I don't see a problem here. Yeah. Children, avert your eyes. <laughs> um, we could have them participate. It'd be oh good God. practice. I'm gonna actually start oh praying God. to my God at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Never have before, but I'm gonna do it now. All right. Oh. What's that uh, sound like? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm curious. <laughs> oh God. It's one of those. Uh, That's a good start. No, you uh, haven't uh, ever really talked to you. Uh, apparently, there's going to be a lot of children around. We're going to try to kill this guy. These are my new friends. Hopefully, we don't all die and get slaughtered. I hear that's a thing. You, you just hear back <laughs> faintly in your head, here. like, new phone, who it is? No, I'm kidding. You don't hear that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there, there is no response from beyond the veil, Fair as enough. it were. Uh, but yeah, you, uh, it makes you feel how you think it would make you feel uh, within character. Um, okay, so uh, Dak kind of stands up and says, Right, well, uh, shall we? Uh, lead the way. Let's, uh, About this time I've finished writing down on the piece of paper. Okay, yeah, he'll look over him. So who is this B... Bajorni? <laughs> what? Oh! Oh! I chime in. Oh, you're not supposed to say his They're name. I'm like, curse shit. Don't oh. say it. It, it. It's not good. Gotcha. You're welcome. Okay, yeah. Um, okay, Anywho, so who is this the, BJ? Or, very good. Very good yeah. name. Um, so actually, what I wrote down on the, the piece of paper right. was Jumbo Joe, Jackerson, Yogurt, and Blarick Erwin. This is all your fault. And then Dash, the... Uh, Name I can't say. You can say it out of character. Oh, shit. I know I can say it. You can say it out of character. You're fine. <laughs> yeah. So, and then I, I put it down as if he had signed it. Okay. Uh, so he'll look down and, well, I recognize all of these names. Uh, Blarick Erwin is dead. I don't know what that has to do with anything. But the rest of them, uh, they're on uh, several missions to the south. Well, southeast. Uh, apparently they went to Lilton. We got word that they were heading to Zizith. Um, well, apparently they ran into this guy along the way. Right. Okay. Well, um... As far as who he is, uh, he's apparently been around for about a thousand or so years. Um, he was part of uh, Zaxar's group at one point. Um, betrayed the world... Kind of caused the the sundering. A pretty bad dude. Got a lot of power. Uh, wash of, um, like, like the light dings for a second. He goes, "Oh, yeah, that dude." Oh, uh, why didn't you just lead with that? Anyway, um. Right. Right, 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 right. Okay. And... Oh, this guy really is that big of a deal. All right. And my group uh, betrayed him. Yep. Cool, 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 cool. Kind of takes a, another piece of paper and grabs his quill and immediately like writes out a note and folds it up. Uh, put some sealing wax on it and stamps it with his, uh, just by punching it with his ring finger. So it leaves a uh, distinctive marking in the sealing wax. Right, well, uh, let's go get this agreement done so you can be on your way and I can figure out what the hell I'm going to do about this. You can have a nice little nap for a little bit while you think about it. I don't know if you can think while you're... Ne never mind, forget that. Um, as we start kind of walking out, uh, do you um, have anything that you've got that's worth coming back for? I kind of want to remind you of stuff while I'm trying to bring you back. 
Maybe one of the many children surrounding us. Children are good. Children are worth coming back for. Um. No, no, I mean, not really. Most of them aren't worth much until they can lift a sword. They start building their muscles and... Yeah, until then, they're just a financial drain. But, uh... It's I don't know, children. like... You should have him tinker. I started at a young age. I made myself worth it. He just kind of looks at you and goes, All right, fair. Um, we're, we're more interested in the uh, swords and protecting and murdering bit than the uh, tinkering so much. There's only so much you can do with uh, Tinker's tools. Found swords are a lot more effective for most things. I didn't see you down in the basement, did I? All right, then I can't say that. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> well, I can tinker really well, but maybe not everyone can, so I'll agree with you. Fair enough. Well, yeah, he kind of follows you guys as you guys all walk outside, and you, uh, you kind of you step outside and you hear the hustle and bustle as like people are kind of milling about, being like, as like you guys all step out and everybody just kind of goes silent. All the conversations slowly come to a stop, and uh, you see Dak kind of takes the note and hands it over to uh, Erickson and says. Um, if I should not return, you see that those instructions are followed to the letter. Oh, hey, uh, one quick question. Uh, how do you want us to do it? Because I guess it's your choice. Like, I'm kind of a fire guy, so I probably shouldn't. So, like, you know, should we talk about this before we get the audience rolling? I would prefer no irreversible damage, but if you left a scar, that might be cool. Uh, if you just lit me on fire, that seems like it might be problematic. Yeah, I, I don't want to do that. That's why I brought it up. <laughs> yeah. You Do you want a scar? I mean... I have swords. Chicks like nice scars, stabbing. right? Oh, do and you I, have a, a chick you want to come back for at all? Uh, well, you know, a couple dozen years ago, uh, there was one. But, uh, you know, any calls... And I left. Come of that particular. I don't know. It was union? a. It was a short thing, and mm -hmm. uh, I guess she moved on. I don't know. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, I've got. Yeah, I've got the the mercenary company. I'd like to take it to new heights. You know, corner the world, as it were. Get all of the world's job. You know. Okay. There's always more money out there. It's um, not a bad uh, goal. Yeah, yeah. World domination by coin. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I've never considered that. It's good to have goals. Yeah. I think. And golds. And golds. golds. You could even say golds. It's goals mm -hmm. and gold. Mm -hmm. that, that if you if you spell it, I was going anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> um that's so, definitely the episode title <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have oh yeah <laughs> okay. so uh my our, our little tinkering friend over there is uh capable of producing gases that are inert and you'd basically suffocate without realizing you were suffocating Oh, that's why you asked me about that. Yeah, I could yeah. cook something like that up. Mm -hmm. That wouldn't be too mm -hmm. hard, actually. Well, I mean, that doesn't really give an impressive scar, though, right? Well, if you want an impressive scar, we could, you know, obviously could do that. could stab you after you're down. That's kind of rude, don't you think? He won't feel it. True. Or do you want to feel the scar? Um, I'm indifferent, I guess. Hmm. Well, whenever I've thought about my death, I thought about it in two different ways. One, in the privacy of a brothel with a tit in my mouth. Or, charging towards an oncoming 
army ready to kill me and just get filled with arrows, like a hundred of them, and just like go out valiantly, you know, with a battle roar. And yeah, clearly neither of those options is going to work unless, uh, kind of points over to his Valyria, unless she's game, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. Also, I love the reference. Well, done. I look over Valyria. Well, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get the arrows right now. That's what oh he meant, God. right? <laughs> I, I, I look at the guy. Sorry, man, I tried. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate the thought. <clears throat> I kind of look up at the the walls with all the archers. I'm assuming, mm -hmm. and be like, "You do have that option." Uh, oh. yeah, uh, that wouldn't really fulfill your side of the pact, though, wouldn't it? Oh, I'd have to no stab you a couple times after you fell down, probably. That's assuming that the arrows don't kill me and I cling on for a second. Fair. I'm, all right. I'm trying to help you. Tell you what. How about How? after you fall, I got an idea. then they can all fire the arrows at you? Better idea. Oh, well, I don't okay. want to, you know, I don't want my death to be a lie. Like, come on, man. Anyway, tell you what, I will kneel down here. Whatever happens, happens. It's pretty much the best thing I got. I got to offer you, man. I mean, you do you. And he kind of leans I over. I think to, we're supposed to be doing you. Right. Leans over to Erickson and says, "Uh, could you let them know that?" Uh, this group of adventurers uh, are mercenaries from the Dressy Mercenary Company. They are going to kill me, and then they are going to bring me back to life. If this doesn't take place within... Kind of leans over to you, Al. Sorry, how long is this going to take? Well, I would assume as soon as you die that the contract is fulfilled. That's no, not the part I was asking about. Take? Oh, uh about a minute okay if i'm not back in let's say two minutes uh you murder all of them uh no don't murder all of them hold them all and cut off their hands all of them all the hands just cut them all off so I mean, by there, my count there's that's, a two, that's eight eh, hands. never mind and then uh, chain them up to the wall and beat them twice a day, uh, at the very least. Uh, let the trainees have target practice. Uh, keep them alive as long as you can, and make their life a living hell. Sound good? And uh, Erickson just goes, uh, it will be done. Like no I was going to say, hesitation. could you say torture, but, you know, you made a pretty good description there. Yeah, Gotta yeah, say, I'm oddly impressed. Look around. <laughs> torture, yeah, that, that. do that. Erickson just, it will be done. Well, all right. He kind of walks out and just goes, listen, Erickson. Just kind of like kneels down and takes his sword belt off and tosses it to the side, takes his shield off his back and tosses it to the side and stretches his neck and then just kneels and waits. How do you do it? Well, do we want to do the prescribed thing or do we want to all smack I mean, him he said he wanted a scar so he did say he wanted a scar I think you should stab him I step back I'm not a fucking part of this <laughs> uh, I'll draw on my longsword okay Um, and I'll just go... I'm gonna go cut his head off. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, don't, don't cut, cut his, don't cut his head, head off! off. <laughs> if, if I see him walking towards him with, like, that, I'm going to instantly be like, stop. <laughs> well, I, I need the head attached. Oh. <laughs> you could, like, garrote him? J you could j just stab him a few times. Okay. I still think that's much more reasonable. I'll go stab him a few times. Okay. <laughs> uh, sure. Go ahead and... Uh, he's a willing person, so just roll damage for however many stabs you're going to stab him. 
I'll hit him with a couple Eldritch Blasts, too, just to make sure okay. that I'm... Roll your damage the... for all of that. Oh, and let me know what her totals be. are. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Okay. Are these considered auto crits. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Double that. So sixty-four. Yep. Um. So sixteen twenty-six. 38 times 2 is 80... No. 76? Actually, I'm going to do a double blast. So... Oh, okay, you do the math and you tell me. I've been at work all day. I'm tired. Okay. Uh, so much math. Yeah. 188. What the actual fuck? <laughs> How? Yeah, I just... He just does damage, dude. What do you mean? Let me make sure I didn't miss add. All right, hold on. 16 plus... That feels like a lot more than like you possibly could have. Plus fourteen plus sixteen plus nine plus seventeen. Yeah, that's ninety-four damage from six Eldritch Blast. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Uh. So your your six six Eldritch Blasts all hit him at the same time that uh, your companion here stabs him uh, three times in the abdomen. And, uh, you kind of hear, like, a grunt from him. He kind of, like, turns towards you and, like, spits blood on Xanax's boot a little bit and goes, I'll fucking finish it then. Ugh. Yeah, he's, he's still kicking. <laughs> <laughs> um, just the two of us? Nobody else is? Okay. I'm right. literally not a part of this. <laughs> Let's uh, hit him with this one a couple times. <laughs> okay. Does anything happen special for that sword if you hit something? Uh, I crit. Well, you are critting. It's all guaranteed crits because he's. I was gonna oh, say it's, he'll it's die guaranteed. On the first one then. So the first time he hits him. Yeah. Okay, so what's special about the nine lives stealer? If I crit, uh, he has to make. Uh, save of some sort. Let me read it. If he has less than 100 hit points right now, he has to make a DC 15 con save. Oh, okay. Or be instantly slain. Uh, yeah, he succeeds. <laughs> so the okay, first he still takes the damage. The first cut, he takes the damage, and he's just kind of like. Again, then. Okay, go for it. <laughs> He's. Oh, uh, you said DC 15? Yep. He still succeeds. Yeah. Uh, but how much damage does the second one. Okay, second one kills him. Okay. Uh, he lets out a last croak and goes down. Uh, I'm gonna. How's the audience doing? In this moment. <laughs> <laughs> the audience, which is all Norma Mercenary Company, all look confused as they're all just surrounding you watching. And you see almost like a concert. All of them like lift up bows and then start drawing an arrow and they knock it and they pull back and they're just waiting. I'm going to cast a gentle repose. Just in case. Okay. I'm gonna just kind of cradle his body and like hold him and sure, you know, be supportive. All right. 
Now, Al, it's on you. What are you doing? I'm waiting to see if something happens. Oh, yeah, that. Uh, okay. I will say, um, Zanuck and Al, you immediately after the kind of croaking happens and you hear the breath stop as Valyria is casting her spell, uh, you feel an immense weight off of your shoulders. <clears throat> as if something was like crushing you has now been lifted. I'm going to let out a, a nice heavy sigh and be like, oh, that feels better. Um, it feels a lot better. Yeah. I'm going to walk over to him, pull out a diamond. A couple diamonds, actually, since they're little diamonds. Mm -hmm. Put it on his chest, lay my hand down over it, and cast yeah, Revivify. Okay. So, uh, I believe for some of you, this is going to be your first time doing a resurrection ritual. So, rules as written. Resurrections are fucking boring. Somebody's dead and you just go, oh, okay, I cast a spell, take a minute. Poof, hey, they're back. Um, so, I like the way that they did it in CR. In the sense that, you know, there has to be a chance, not just for failure, but like a chance for some sort of like... Um, pleading with the soul to come back to the body um, as opposed to just bringing somebody back you know you'd have to kind of make a make a case for the soul to actually want to come back and all that stuff so um, the way that it will work is the spell gets used uh, the material components are used etc etc uh, consumed and within the time of casting the revivify um, up to three people can kind of join in the resurrection ritual and offer something, whatever they'd like, uh, in order to meet that end. Who would like to join the ritual? I'll join I the will. ritual. Okay, that's two. I will if no one else is, but maybe like Erickson would like that. Do I don't join it. My people? character is watching intently. Okay. Do you offer uh, Erickson to join? Yeah. Okay. Uh, he'll just be like, um, right. Kind of walks over and kind of kneels down with you guys. Well, um, which one of you would like to go first? I will take the last. Nobody else wants to. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I'll just kind of uh, lean down while I'm casting the spell and be like, remember all that gold you want to make? The world you want to take over? Can't do that from over there, buddy. Come on back. <laughs> <laughs> make a persuasion check with an advantage. Okay. Some pretty fucking high rolls. Valeria, how would you like to contribute? I'm going to take out um, five platinum from my bag from <laughs> from an old friend. I'm going to slip it in his pocket and whisper. I put the beginnings of all the gold and platinum that's out here. All the amazing journeys and adventures that you can have, they're still here waiting for you. And when you come back, they will rue the day. <laughs> Blood will rain from the skies. Come back and I'll, um, we'll see what you, we can do about your uh, next death being something you'd like a little bit more. And I wink at him even though he's <laughs> dead. <laughs> okay. Um... Fair. Could you give me a... Yeah, let's make that one a persuasion as well, please. Okay. Uh, 19 is not bad. Um...
Erickson just kind of sits there and kind of nudges uh, Dak's shoulder and just says, Um, I was supposed to not to tell you, but if you're dead, I suppose I'm not breaking any rules. Um, you have a son. He lives. So, if you're dead, you can't meet him. And, uh, that's his check. Oh, it's not great, because he's not a very charismatic person, despite having a plus seven. Okay, so that's one fail and two successes, but what's the total? 40, 59. Okay, that'll work. Uh, literally six seconds passes since Erickson uh, said his last piece, and uh, <clears throat> kind of looks down, and you see a swell of breath enter uh, Dak as he coughs and just blood just splatters up uh, since the three of you are so close. It gets all over Valeria, Al, and, and uh, Erickson. Just blood and spit. I um, start cheering. I lay on hands <laughs> immediately. <laughs> okay, how many hit points? Uh, I've got 30 I can give him right now, so okay. I'll give him the full thing. All right. Pissed at me. <laughs> just immediately pump him with health. Yeah. Um, okay. Sounds good. And uh, Erickson says, uh, eh, Welcome back. Um, Give him 25 health, too. Okay. I assume we're not to torture them since you came back in under two minutes. And uh, Dak just kind of sits there, kind of wide eyed and like, I saw everything from beyond the veil. Not fucking with you. There's nothing. It was just blackness. Um, yeah, I guess they Is can dead go. People? Everything's dead or what? Fucking, I, you're talking at the same time I'm talking. You fucking trip me up. What's that? You didn't see dead people? No, I, everything was just black. It was all blackness. The tch. religion's well, so, alive. Um, I don't know. What do you want us to do? Do you want us to tell people? We keeping it hush hush. What? What? No. Um, you're the man at this point. <laughs> yeah. I don't care. I just survived death. It was very impressive. It was. You took Your it mercenary like company will be known throughout the ages. That that'll be fun. Um, excellent. I, uh, I'm really indifferent on the matter. You, I really only care about Norma's uh, reputation, as it were. So, um. Right. Uh, he kind of, like, gets up and sort of brushes himself off and realizes that he got, like, stab wounds all over his shirt and stuff, and he's just like, I'll have to get a new one made. Um, right. Grabs his sword belt and straps it on, grabs a shield and throws it on his back, and goes, Ah, oh, that takes a lot out of you. I'm gonna hit the mess, but, uh, is there anything else I can do for you? I've already died, so if there's anything else you require, might as well ask now. Um. Hmm. I look at him. Do we want to like stay the night, or are we leaving? I know no, it's like kind of no. early, but no, it's you pretty are, early, isn't it? You are not Norma. You are not staying. Ah, okay. Unless Sorry, you I get not mercenary. Join. Don't really know how things work. Oh, it's fine. People do stay from time to time, but um, given that you just killed me, I yeah. Uh, I'd feel more comfortable if you weren't here. Yeah, that's understandable. I mean, it's not like we're going to kill you again. I don't we know were, that. We were only paid for the once. Fair. I shrug. In any case, I'm sure you've got other jobs to be about. I know the life. Um, I kind of pull him to the side a little bit. Hmm. So, oh, um, I was kind of wondering, do you guys have, uh, teleportation circles in, in your company? Or a teleportation circle, I suppose. Uh, can you make a persuasion check? Uh, 
Mm. Oof. Wow. Uh, he just kind of looks at you. We have access to one. But, um... We reserve the right to use it only for normal business. If you tell me what it is you need it for... Well, I was I was thinking that uh, maybe I could send you part of the payment. I don't really feel like coming back to do it. So I could just drop a little sack into a portal for you. All right. Um, tell you what. Uh, next time you're in Lilton, just uh, drop it off at any postmaster. And we'll have somebody pick it up. I don't mean to be rude, but can it be anywhere else than Lytton? Sure, any major well, city works. Woo! Unfortunately, we are going to have to go back to Lytton. Briefly, but... <laughs> that face uh, so gone. <laughs> For spelunking? Uh, no, that's where we have to pick up our payment. Yeah, Bjorn said he mm. would leave payment for you in Lilton. The sword and the, uh, the golds. You seem like you're not very keen to go back. Nope. I mean, look, if we have to go back for someone else, like, that's fine, but if we could just, like, not stay along, that would be fantastic. I mean, you can wait outside if you really want to. You know, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Oh, uh, I think that concludes our business, unless you have anything you'd like to ask of us. Uh, no. I'm quite alright. Thank you for bringing me back. It would have been... Well, I don't know. I assume absolutely no change whatsoever, but, you know, I would have maybe... No, I still probably wouldn't have felt anything. I... The nothing happened. I was just gone for a minute, and now I'm back. Um, I... I'm sure in another life, I might feel guilty about having you all tortured to death very slowly. So, you know, I'm glad that didn't happen. Me too. Um, just out of curiosity, did you not have somebody that could have brought you back? Oh, certainly. Didn't? Absolutely. Oh, okay. It's just... So, I mean... It costs... Costs, you know? Well, so. of course. But, like, the fact that I brought you back, you probably would have been brought back either way, right? Yeah. But, um, we also needed to see if you were, uh, people of your word. Fair. So, there's that. Yeah. Well, I need food. Turn to walk away. <laughs> he turns and walks the complete opposite direction, just abruptly walking away. Uh, the rest of you are left there. Uh, it's probably about now that you start hearing the chatter pick up around the place as you hear like uh, a couple of people kind of talking like, it's a crazy day. Like there was like the weird group came in and then that old man showed up and then the two like, I swear they're fucking bunnies, but they're like six feet tall. It's fucking weird. Yeah, and then and then they came out here and they fucking killed him and then brought him back. It's like what? One tall, one short. Yeah, well, I forgot. Anyway, um, <laughs> and, and then they brought him back. It was fucking weird. And then all everybody's just kind of talking about what has happened in the last like fifteen minutes. They kind of don't seem to care too much about you since Dak walked away from you guys and everything was totally good. It seems like everybody else is just kind of, like, at peace with it. Not like it's something they see every day, but, like, well, if Dak doesn't care, then clearly it's not a problem. Oh, and, cool, uh, cool, for cool. the most part, everybody just kind of lets, lets you be. Kind of gets back to their own business. Goes back about their work. What do you want to do? We, we would like to exit stage right. Yes. 
All right. That sounds one. The... That sounds wonderful. Agree. Go to the east gate and uh, kind of as you're walking over, uh, one of the uh, small children uh, kind of looks up and uh, in the middle of saying, "You said something about trouble with Master Hazel," and then just they stepped right through that little spot where they killed Deck. It was crazy. Yeah, him! And, like, points up at Zanuck, who's still walking and, you know, sword and all that stuff. And, like, you, a couple of the kids are, like, looking at you like, what the fuck? Because you literally just stabbed their leader to death. I'll wave at him. They immediately run. Wait, no, Aww. I'll come back. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Just scamper away, like... Yeah. Um, the guards see you and open up the doors so you can leave and you walk out. Well, that was fun. Yeah, that went better than expected. It was a killer good time. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. See what you did there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That did go better than expected. I thought we were all going to die. That was a terrible pun. You just hear a voice. Just a random voice? Yep. <clears throat> I hear the voices again. I'm going to look around like I didn't hear anything. Like, what? What are you talking about? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, what do you guys do? Just stand outside the eastern gate, or what are you doing? Uh, I think we leave, right? East. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mount our horses, and off we go. Okay. Um, as you guys are mounting up, you once again hear that, say, uh, that same kind of low tones. You just hear, be safe. It's the voices. They want us to be safe, though. It's, it's just me. It's just one voice. What's with the voice? Who is it? It's Have I heard this person before? Hear it, too? Have you all gone and said... Oh, right. Um, appearing before you instantaneously, after pulling off what appears to be a ring held in one hand, is a massive minotaur. He's just like... Ah. I'm sorry. I forgot it I was wearing it. So cow no that's a minotaur mm. cousins no bull that was a good pun thanks mm -hmm. I try to pet the minotaur he like lets you but like totally does <laughs> that thing where he's like mm. Uh, for he's for not reference, an anim okay. he's like nine and a half feet tall, <laughs> like massive minotaur. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he just goes, um, be safe, I guess. Don't, um, kill more leaders. I'll I'm, try not to. I'm going to be watching you. It's like Are narrowing you? his eyes intentionally. Make an insight check. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. That's a little creepy, dude. He's hard to read. <laughs> You're like, are you? Are, are you? <laughs> he just looks at you and goes, "Well, only if you come back." Oh, you're not coming with us? N no, I'm a guard. Ah. Uh... Oh, that you. sounds boring. You should that's... totally come with us. Well, I, I came with you in. I, I walked with you. You didn't so see. I was, I was wearing the ring. You're a giant, invisible minotaur. Invisible. I, someone once said I was invisible one time. I thought it was funny. <sighs> That's actually not a bad one. Mm. I've heard worse. Oh, I get it. Well. Because bull. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
safe travels, and he just slips the ring on and phew, disappears. And you can... Since where you were looking at, you can see, like, faint hoof prints into the ground, stepping off of, like, the kind of somewhat worn path into the field, and you lose it very, very quickly, as he's quite stealthy and uh, is completely invisible, and just you lose track of where he went. Cowbell? Ha! Huh. No cowbell. I lost track of hmm. where he went. <laughs> So, you travel east. <sighs> I need a d20 encounter check. Whoever wants to do it. Okay. That's a two. Yeah, that is a two. Let me consult the old Taborino. Could I get a D-112, please? 54. Okay. Could I get a... D-4, please? No. Two. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, you are traveling along the road, and everything seems... Fine. Totally. Totally fine. Everything seems totally fine. Yep. That's it. <laughs> I feel like I'm being lied to. <laughs> <laughs> what would give you that impression? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I would like to insight check the DM. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Go ahead and make an insight check with like 12 times disadvantage. Um, Double nat 20. Oh, huh, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. You see, the trick is you got to roll it 13 times and take the lowest number. So. What if he rolls 13 20s in a row? What would you Oof. do? Oof. Um, do it. I'd probably have him buy a fucking um, lottery ticket for me. and uh, Well, one natural 20, but uh, the lowest was a three. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Cool. Uh, so, wh who's got the highest passive perception in the party? Um, I got a 17. I have an 18. 18? Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, your afternoon goes by uneventfully. I uh, need an evening check. Not me this time. Well, I should have asked. Does anybody have true sight? I okay, doubt. yeah. <laughs> then then your day went by uneventfully. Uh okay, a five. A five. A five areno. A cappuccino. Um Could I get a D32, please? 10. Could I get a D4? Okay, let me just make sure this is right. <clears throat> okay. I need a 2d4s, please. Four and a two. Okay. No, that works perfectly, actually. Uh, okay, let me make battle map real quick. Do you think we could take this time for your battle map 
creation to have a potty break? Yeah, we could do that. Uh, it'll mean that when we come back from potty break, it's going to be like... Well. We're going to end at 9 still, so... <laughs> you know, it's... Yeah. Mm -mm. But yeah, no, oh, we yeah. can do that. We can do that. Uh, everybody, I get can, up and get some water. No, it's fine, it's fine. Okay. Get up, get some water, stretch the legs. Um, I will populate the battle map uh, while, you know, everybody goes pee and all that stuff. And uh, we will see you shortly. Watch your ads. Yeah, I'm going to run some ads too. Love you.
Hey, stream. We're back. Sorry for that extended break. Uh, okay, cool. So, what the party sees. Uh, as you all are riding up, you see what appears to be um, a half-elven creature. Well, creature. A half-elf. Uh, being set upon by what can best be described as two evil-looking large frogs and three uh, weird-looking cats, like leopards, with, like, tentacles coming out of its head, almost like, uh, like snakes. And, uh, it's like Medusa kitties, if you want to think about it that way. Uh, there's three of them and two of those large frogs. Um, as you guys are were riding up, you originally just saw one lone figure. And as you approach to, you know, roughly 60 feet or so, that's roughly when you saw five large shadows, like, converge on her. Uh, she appeared surprised for a moment and then immediately started fighting back, um, spinning her... Uh, quarterstaff about her trying to fend them off uh, what do you guys do? should we help her? I'm already spurring the horse forward so <laughs> okay well I guess there's your answer uh, okay in that case I'm gonna need uh, some initiative rolls Awkward that the horses are on top of us. <laughs> That's just because I'm on the way top of my it. horse. Well, it must be nice. <laughs> must be fucking nice. Must be fucking nice. <clears throat> um. Okay. So is that everybody? One, two, three, four, five. And a horse. Uh, your horses will take turns on their actions, so I'm just or on their t on your turns. So I'm just gonna remove them from the initiative, so it's not super super long. Uh, okay, Camadan number one um, <clears throat> will make a. Let's see if it notices you. It does. So it notices as you're riding up. Uh, it's going to move. It'll move up there and hold an action. The Banderhob is going to make its attacks. Um, it's going to try and tongue the Half Elf. Uh, fuck, that hits. Because <clears throat> it's a crit. Uh, Stara, you take 22 points of necrotic damage. And I need a strength save, please. <clears throat> You're gonna kill her before she. Even <laughs> I had that thought not. as well. Wow. Okay. Um. <laughs> Comments about turning Japanese and seeing things from the inside. Yeah, so unfortunately for you, it critted on its attack, and then you failed the save, so it reels you in. Uh, if you weren't within five feet, uh, you notice it's got a super long tongue that wraps around you, and it reels you in, uh, and it gets to make a bite attack. Oh, a natural one. That'll even things out. <coughs> um, okay, just misses. Zanuck, you're up. Um, yeah, I'll, if I see Alm going that way, I will also. Uh, the horses have 60 movement? Uh, I... yes. Yep. Uh, I don't 
know where the horse went, but... Uh, is it this one? Oh, yeah, probably. I can't move it anyway. Uh, is it one of these ones? I don't have a horse. Mine, mine's the one that got eaten. Oh. He's riding somebody else's horse. There you go. Okay. Well, I'll take it there and jump off and go attack this cat thing. Alright. I will give you permissions for Bebop. It used to be Astra's. It is now yours. Used to be Sauna's, too. Fuck, Bebop's horse is making the rounds. <laughs> I know! The run, horses hey? outlived us all! <clears throat> Apparently. Uh, as you approach, it's gonna use its held action. Um, it's just gonna do a snake attack. What's your AC? Uh, uh, 19 right now. Okay, it's gonna hit. You take 26 points of piercing slash poison damage. Do you have resistance to either? Um, I don't, I don't think not yet. Oh, uh, I need a con save to see whether or not the poison actually hurts you. Okay. Uh, you succeed, so you take half of the poison. So you're going to take two points of piercing and 13 of poison. <clears throat> no. 10 of poison, sorry. My brain no worky good. Okay, so that's that's it for its held action. You're free to do whatever you're gonna do. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take out my. Uh... Huh. Uh, apparently, the third magic sword I got got removed from my inventory somehow. Weird. Which one? The uh, fire one. I don't remember exactly what it was called. Firebrand. <clears throat> Firebrand, yeah. Or, sorry, Flame Tongue. Long sword. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know why it would have been removed. I didn't fuck with your character sheet, so. Uh, just go ahead yeah, and add it. It should be in there, though. Yeah. I just added it back. Okay. Okay, I'll take that out and my. Nine lives stealer and attack once with each. Okay. Do it up. That's weird. Now you've got two flame tongue long swords in your actions and what inventory. The <laughs> but there wasn't anything there. I don't know, man. I'm just looking at like I'll put it in the chat, but that's amusing. Okay, anyway, uh, so its AC is 13, so you hit and hit. So slashing, so it's 10, 17. And then I'll bonus action on arm strike. Uh, you need to roll damage for the nine lives stealer damage. Oh, yeah. Okay, so 12 plus 17 is 29. And then your unarmed strike hits. Go ahead and roll damage to that. <clears throat> 40 damage in one, in one round. It's not bad. That's it. Okay. The Camadan next to... Uh, Frog slash victim over here. Who's gonna move? It's just gonna move there. And. Oh. 
hold an action. Hey, don't play with that. <clears throat> anyway, uh, that's it for the Camadan. Marzen, you're up. Okay, uh, I would first like to summon an Eldritch Cannon five feet in front of me. I don't know if you have that token available or not. <clears throat> I have a sword. You know, totally the same it thing. doesn't really look like a cannon, but I'll happily go with whatever. Oh yeah, that's got. right. The token for that is a tentacle. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, that's not a sword. <laughs> that is not a sword. Patrick, this is not a ride. <laughs> no, this is Patrick. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll find something for next week. Totally understandable. Okay. Um, it's gonna walk. Well, no, I'm not gonna walk. It's gonna walk. I don't have control of it, do I? No, uh, just ping where you want it. Okay, it would like to move up to this location. Okay. Um, and it's going to do a cone a little bit lower than it, uh, for its attack, uh, in so to not hit Xanak. Go ahead and draw the cone. Under the token controls, it'll be the second one. It's got, like, two rulers that kind of point towards each other. And then it's the, I guess, the less than sign. If you click that, you'll be able to draw it a cone. Just click and hold. The two rulers that are touching each other, and then where do I get the different version of it? Less than sign. There's a circle, a less than sign, a square, and then two arrows pointing up and down. I'll put it in the chat. 15 I'd foot cone, like this. Yeah. Alright. Uh, cool. Yeah. So, what does that do? What is he, uh, what's going on? Um, so each creature in that area has to succeed on a DC 16 deck save or take half. Alright. Uh, 16 DC, you said? Yes. That's a fail. Cool. So we're just gonna take that full damage, and so then four. Yes. Okay. Two D eight was pretty sad this time around, but yep. um, <clears throat> yep. Um, then I am going to move to try to stay out of combat. I'm gonna <laughs> go up here. Okay. And that's my turn. Okay. And then we go to. This Camadan. That'll go there. Hold an action. Al, you're up. You might have just changed my. Nope, you didn't. Cool. Um. So this one, this one, this one, and this one. These four guys. Uh huh. Get to make a wisdom save. All right. Top one fails. Uh, next one down succeeds. Next one succeeds. Bander hub fails. Let's see, and it's slow? Yep. Um, I'm going to say the net. Because I don't know. Or Isn't the actual that? She sounds slow cute. one. <laughs> right. Uh, any damage or is it just slow? Just slow. Okay. Uh, anything else for your um, turn? And um, I will go ahead and uh, burn a sorcery point to hit the one next to Xanak. Okay. Um, gonna move down a little bit so that I can get the wrong tool. If I can get my advantage. Yep. That looks like about through it. Sure. And. 
Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast. Uh, uh, hit, hit, and hit. So nine, teen. Thirty-one. Thirty-one. I did it. I did the maths. Yay. Ah, you killed it. Aww. You killed the big Medusa kitty. Poor kitty. Mm -hmm. Um, that's my turn. Okay. Next is Banderhob over here. Um... What the fuck is it gonna do? Alright, it'll just do... That'll work. Uh, so it's gonna go there, and it's gonna tongue attack. Uh, sorry, it's just gonna tongue Xanic. Kinky. Kinky. Uh, that's gonna hit. My AC is 22 now. It's a 25. All right. <laughs> uh, does nine points of necrotic damage to you, and I need a DC 15 strength save. Probably shouldn't have told you the uh, DC, but it's fine. It's totally fine. <laughs> By the way, um, can you make your health visible? On. Uh, oh, whatever. yeah, I got her. I got her. Whatever that, that name is, since I can't even see the name. <laughs> yeah, you're good. I got her. There you go. Uh, that is going to fail. So, you get pulled right up next to it, and now it gets to make its bite attack. That's going to also hit. Dealing 24 points of piercing. And you are grappled. And restrained. Damn. Make sure to add those conditions to yourself. Uh, Stara, you're up. Can't tell if I keep bumping this or my cat does. Oh, there I'm gonna it's probably him. shape shift into a giant elk. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. Polymorpher. Finding source. You know which book that's in? Uh, Giant Elk is in Monster Manual. Thank you. Open list. God, that was awful. Okay, giant elk. There you are. Select and wild shape. Hey, you're a giant elk now. Hey. Surprise. That is a very big Surprise, elk, mother. by the way. <laughs> the the bander hob gets shunted ever so slightly as you uh, grow, I guess. I'm going to ram him. Okay. Uh, ram does hit. No, wait. Sorry, you don't have advantage. Uh, it's just barely gonna miss. Sorry, 15 AC. I'm just gonna stand there then. For the... <laughs> okay. Uh, Valeria. 
Hi, what's up? How's it going? Hey, yeah, not bad. Living the dream. Yeah, you know. All yeah. right, well. Um, goodness gracious. Oh, I'm on a horse, aren't I? Yeah, you are. You are. It's a war horse. So, um, how far can I go on my exciting horse here? 60 feet. 60 feet. That's okay, well, all right. We can make the horse dash, can't we? Yep. So you can go 120 if you wanted to. Up to 120. Now, Xanax restrained by one of these weird things? Yeah, he's currently uh, in its mouth. Or wrapped up in its tongue. No, wait, hold on. Does it actually swallow him? That was the tongue. Yeah, no, he's in its mouth. Okay, cool. Yeah, well, I'm so gonna ride my. I saw this horse. one kind of reach out with its tongue and grab him and like reel him in and start chewing. That's exciting. I'm gonna grab my uh, war horse and we're gonna charge over there and save him from the tonguing that is happening to him. Okay. You might ask for consent. He might like it. Hmm. Consent, please. <laughs> Ah. I can't get it off the ruler. Uh, click the top right one. The, the one that looks like a oh. box with lines. Did you just take additional damage? Yeah, I did yeah. math right the first time. Oh, okay. Okay, you can't occupy that square because Xanax in that square. Uh, actually, would he be? I think he still is in it. Hmm. I'll look that up for later. It's not important. But what would you like to do? How about I go behind him? If you have enough movement. I mean, that's 60, but there's 1, 2, 3, 4. That's about 80. 110. You could probably get to this square. One of these four. Or like this four square. Going around the north side. Like that. I miss four square. Yeah. That was a fun game. Never played it. So I can't quite uh, hit the one that's got him from over here. I'm assuming. I'm the one that's got him is the. Can't see him. The one that's got him is the gigantic <laughs> uh, toad. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So that's that's what I'm trying to. Yeah, that's what yeah. I want to hit. Okay. So that good, good, good times, great oldies. Um, I'm gonna cast a spell. Okay. I'm gonna tell you what that is. <laughs> All right. I'm going to cast uh, Hunter's Mark, I think. Okay. Hunter's Mark. It's going to get the radiation symbol because I don't have something better for Hunter's Mark. Okay. Uh, yes. And then I'm just going to attack that frog situation. Mm-hmm. Do it up. Maybe. Okay. Uh, that one is going to hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Did it not? Oh, yeah, it automatically did. I yeah, yeah, I was going to say, I thought it did, yeah. Yikes, I'm dumb. Uh, okay. So <laughs> it's like one of us is having a problem. <laughs> I was having a stroke, apparently. Okay, so okay. Why not both? your first attack, you deal 10 <laughs> points of slashing. I am going to also Divine Smite on okay. that. At what level? Um... The highest level I can, I think so. Wait, is that right? Three it's cast at fourth level? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, dealing 13 I'm sure more. if it did that right, though. Yeah. It didn't. What do you mean yeah, it did didn't? that wrong. I was trying. I think I have to do the regular divine smite, then add. Then that adds to it. 
Let me check one sec. <clears throat> That's only three D eight. Yeah, so Yeah, so just roll one more D eight. One more D eight? Fourth D8? level? Two more. Uh no, it's two D eight at first level. Uh -huh. So second then... would be yeah, okay, roll two two D eight. <laughs> okay, so three plus thirteen is sixteen. And two from Hunter's Mark. Okay. Is that all? Uh, no, I'm going to attack again. Okay. That will also hit. Dealing eight points. And then I'm going to... Also two from Hunter's Mark. Yeah, and Divine Smite again. Okay. At what level? Third level this time. Okay. So a total of 48. I think I'm just gonna. Hey, Jay. Mm hmm. How many attacks did that Vanderhoff make? Uh. Two. A tongue attack. And then he used a bonus oh. action to make a bite. He only gets one. He slowed. Touche. Uh, so Zanuck gets 27 hit points back and is no longer grappled nor restrained. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry. What? My bad. It's the... I misread which symbol is which. He's not the slowed one. The cat's the slowed one. See, I thought so. I'm okay. sorry. My We're bad. good. Never mind. Zanuck takes How 27 points of damage, is restrained and grappled. Okay. However, the other one that she tried to headbutt... This one down here. I know that one was slowed. You which fucking means threw its me armor too. class is down two. Oh, so it totally got hit. I'll scroll up and check the damage for that. Sorry, my bad. Carry on. Shit happens. <laughs> so 13. Okay. And there's the damage. Okay, so 25. Cool. Uh, okay. Anything else on your turn, Valeria? Um, I think that that is everything I've got going on. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then with that, I hate doing this in the middle of combat, but combat might take a while, so uh, we'll call it here, and we'll have to pick up next week with the second round of combat and the rest of the adventure. So, uh, yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, check out the Twitch stream. Uh, it's linked, obviously, down below. If you're watching this on Twitch, make sure you, you know, subscribe to Twitch Prime if you want, you know, or, or not, if you don't want to. It's cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, Thursday, we've got Odyssey of the Dragon Lords is starting. It's going to be a good time. So tune in for that. I think we decided on 6.30 start, and I'm not sure when it's going to end. I'm assuming 10, but who knows? Like, it, it might end up... We might end up playing until the middle of the night. We might end up only playing for a couple hours. Who knows? Anyway, uh, so stay tuned for that. And then uh, otherwise, we'll see you next week with more rain, Monday and Tuesday. So uh, without any further ado, bye-bye. Also, stay for ads. Love you.